another what I've watched video. Now this one's going to be a little bit different. I have my movies and I will just show you. I'm just going to have to bend down and pick them up. Um, so I have dun, 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 this pile here, which are the movies that I will be talking about in this particular part. I'm still going to call it, say this is 20... Seven. I don't know what it is. Uh, this is what I've watched 27 and then in a moment still on this same day in this moment and I will upload it the same day I will film what I've watched number 28 which will be these movies um, because I felt like the what I've watched video would get way too long um, so if you still want to watch it all in one go you just can watch one video and then go straight to the next video it should be up not very long after the first one and so that'll be in the next part but for now I have this pile here which is larger but I think I have more to say um, about some of the ones in the second pile so yeah um, and so I've got this pile to talk about right now and then I will continue to film and do the second part but I'll just split the video up that was my brain thought hopefully you guys will like it let me pick up my trusty little book this book is seriously one of my favorite things my friend Jess got me this book for Christmas it's fantastic I write down all the movies I watch in it okay Oh, so yeah, with all that being said and done, let's just hop right into the movie talks. So the, this is all the movies I watched in February. All of them. I need to make more watch videos so we don't end up with this ginormous pile. Um, and also I was away for a week in February, so I feel like I did quite well, well, almost a week, I feel like I did quite well in um, watching quite a lot. So here we go. First I have Wish I Was Here, which I have done a review for, so I don't want to talk about it too much. But overall, I love this movie. I can't wait to watch it again. It's in the Tuesday night movie night pile, um, so I hope it comes out soon because I really, really enjoyed it. It definitely was a very um, uh, uplifting movie, I guess, but it was very um, kind of made you think about a lot of things. I just really, really enjoyed it. Um, definitely recommend it if you think you would enjoy that one. The next one I have, I watched on a Tuesday night movie night, and that is Paranorman. I've talked about this movie to no end, I feel lately. Um, but yeah, so I really enjoyed it. Oh, Wish I Was Here, I gave four and a half stars. This one, I gave four and a half stars as well. Um, Paranorman, yeah, it's a great movie. If you haven't seen Paranorman, check Paranorman out. So after watching Paranorman, I decided to go ahead and watch The Box Trolls, which of course is done kind of by the same company. This one, I only ended up giving three and a half stars to. I actually just literally the other day did a review on it, and it even got a Box Trolls costume, so you should definitely check that out if you haven't already, because it was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, I felt like it was definitely a lot more geared towards children than the other two previous movies the company have done um which was okay but i just wasn't expecting that going in so i was a bit surprised but i still enjoyed it and it was still a lot of fun it definitely looked beautiful as a film so i did enjoy the box trolls the next one i have is one that i need still need to review on and it's if i stay um i'd read the book to this and i'm sure you guys kind of know that i've talked about it quite a bit and i've got the soundtrack i really really love the soundtrack to this movie and so then finally i watched the movie and it's got chloe grace right who you guys know i love she's fantastic and I feel like when I was watching the movie, I felt like I'd already seen it before because I'd read the book. Um, and I think that that is a good thing though. It's not necessarily like, oh, but I felt like I'd already watched the film because I'd read the book. And it's pretty much stayed very, very true to the book, which I did like. Um, and I did really enjoy it. At first I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm enjoying this as much as I thought I would. But then by the end, I was like, yeah, I really enjoyed it. And I think I gave it four and a half, what did I give? Yeah, I gave it four and a half stars. By the end, this movie left me thinking about a lot. I kind of didn't want to watch another movie straight again afterwards. It definitely, I'm, I've, it definitely left me thinking. And But I feel like, though, they could have focused a little bit more on the family aspect of things rather than this felt more focused on Adam, um, the boyfriend. Whereas in the book, what I loved was the family as well. Um, but yeah, I will talk. If you don't know what this is about, I'm going to do a review on it very soon. I'll talk way more about it in that video. The next one I watched is one of my favourites, The Other Woman, this movie, this movie, I love it, it makes me laugh, it makes me smile, I just feel so happy when I watch it, I get four and a half stars, I definitely recommend this movie, uh, I even saw this one in the cinema and I don't go to the cinema too much, so yes, loved this. The next one I watched was a Studio Ghibli movie and it is Arietti, or Arietti, um, this one was so lovely, it's kind of a take on like the borrowers and um, that kind of story, you know, Arietti is the little borrower and she obviously comes across a human and of course with all the Studio Ghibli movies it looked absolutely beautiful, uh, I, the, the scenery was incredible, um, I feel like I've never been disappointed with a Studio Ghibli movie so uh, I felt like I knew I was going to like it and I really really did, um, I feel like this isn't one that I would maybe re-watch as much as some of the others, uh, it definitely was kind of less weird does that make sense but it was still absolutely wonderful and um, very lovely i definitely recommend it if you enjoy studio ghibli obviously pick this up and if or if you don't really know what studio ghibli is and you haven't really heard of their movies but you like the borrowers then i definitely recommend checking this one out and um, i think you'll really enjoy it what did i give it i gave it four and a half stars we're doing well four and a half right now and um, yeah so i really did enjoy that one 
Uh, after that, I watched Mandela, A Long Walk to Freedom. This movie was fantastic. I literally just talked about it in a underrated movies video. Uh, it gave this movie five stars. It was, it was quite a long movie. How long does it, does it say on the back? Does it say 146 minutes? Um, yes, yeah, so it was quite a long movie, but it basically told the story of Nelson Mandela. And I feel like a lot of people might know his story. I knew, I knew bits and bobs, but there's some things that I didn't know. And some things were really shocking, but they're all true events, true things that happened. And it's very interesting as well to see um, uh, Winnie Mandela's story. Um, that was also fantastic. This movie blew me away. It's not one that I could watch over and over again, but I know I will watch it again. I feel like it's an important movie to watch as well. I think you should definitely watch it. Uh, I feel like I couldn't recommend this movie enough. Like I say, give it five stars. And it was the first five stars of the month. Is that right? Du -du 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 -du. Yes, the first five stars of the month. It might even be the only five stars of the month. I don't. I don't know. I can't remember what I've given everything. Um, but yeah, five stars to this movie. It got my five star February month thing. So please do check it out. I talked talked about it in underrated movies as well. Uh, the next one I watched was This Must Be The Place with Sean Penn. I watched this on a Tuesday night movie night. I only gave it three stars because while I did enjoy the film and he basically kind of goes on a road trip to find something out to do with his father, um, he meets some really interesting characters along the way but as for Sean Penn's character, I didn't like him at all and it kind of spoiled some parts of the movie but I still enjoyed the movie. The soundtrack was fantastic, the cinematography was incredible. I gave it three stars but if you want to hear more about this I'll link the Tuesday night movie night down below so you can kind of, because I talked a lot about my thoughts on this in that Tuesday Night Movie Night video, so yeah. The next one I've got is Hector and the Search for Happiness with Simon Pegg. What's his name? Is that his name? Simon Pegg. Where is his name? On the box. Yeah, Simon Pegg and Rosamund, Rosamund Pike, who has been in some fantastic movies lately. I mean, What We Did on a Holiday, you guys know, I can't love that movie enough. And Gone Girl, and then this. Um, this one, I feel like I've watched a lot of movies similar to it as of lately, like, um, and so... I did really enjoy it. I gave it do, 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 four stars. Uh, I gave it four stars. I really enjoyed it. I definitely want to watch it again. It was basically this man, he's a psychiatrist, yes, and he decides he needs to find out what happiness is and he goes on a journey to try and discover that. It sounds kind of cheesy, but it's not quite like that. And it's a very interesting journey that he takes, and I felt like the end result was fantastic. And I really loved it. It's definitely a thought provoking movie, an uplifting movie, a life movie, a travel movie. Uh, it was really wonderful. I really did love it, but I feel like it kind of, because I'd watched quite a few things similar uh, as of recently, it kind of got a bit lost in my mind, mixed up with some other things. But I definitely am going to watch it again very soon. I did really enjoy it. It's also got Tony Collettin, who I really like as well. And I just, I really loved the end, to be honest, with this movie. And there was some funny bits. It was, you know, it was one of them inspired, like, kind of like Secret Life of Walter Mitty. It did remind me quite a bit of that, even though I do prefer Secret Life of Walter Mitty actually over than this, but I feel like they are different in their own ways anyway, so they're not exactly to compare against each other, but still I really enjoyed it. I get four stars. I'll do a review on this one soon as well, that's on my to-do review list. Um, next after that I watched Mr. Popper's Penguins, which was a rewatch for me, I'd watched it once before, I decided to watch it again because I thought it was so much fun and lighthearted. I think I gave it three stars, I did, I gave it three stars, um, because it was fun and I remember enjoying it, but I didn't enjoy it as much the second time around, it felt a bit more... Uh, well, you know, it's a children's film and it felt a little bit more like a children's film. Well, not a, that's a bad thing to say, that's not the right thing to say. It felt a bit more silly than I had remembered it to be. Um, I don't know, maybe if I'm just getting older or if... I don't know, I don't know. It just, anyway, it, but yeah, I was fine, I still enjoyed it, I gave it three stars, but some of the jokes were just a bit childish. That's the word, childish, not child fit. I don't know what I'm saying. You know exactly what I mean, but I do like Jim Carrey, and I love the penguins, they're very cute, and then the CGI penguins, but still, it's a cute family film, but it's not like one of the best family films. Three stars. Okay, the next one I watched was Mud. This movie was a very interesting, fantastic movie. I gave it four stars. Wait, did I? Yeah, I did. I don't know why I didn't give it four and a half. I can't remember my reason now. I feel like I had a reason and I'd have forgotten it. Um, so basically, I feel like everybody's kind of... Matthew McConaughey, I mean, isn't he just doing fantastic now? Um, he it, Basically, there's two boys. One of the boys, what's his name? Ty... Ty Sheridan. Ty Sheridan? He was fantastic. Uh, two boys come across this man who's on this island and he's kind of like a... Yeah, you know, it's a bounty out for him, like he is want he's a wanted man for, um, you know, well, I won't give it away, he's a wanted man basically anyway, but he's come back to this place to meet this woman. And the boys kind of get involved and 
I don't really know how to explain the movie. It's a very interesting movie. I definitely recommend you watch it. Okay, so the next one that I watched was Rio 2 in 3D. I will do a 3D Blu review of this at some point. It was very cute. I really loved it. The colours were fantastic. It's 3D. It was awesome. Um, and basically, it follows Blue and Jewel again. And they have these little babies. Wait, they have three babies. But there's only two on the front cover. That's a bit mean. But anyway, they've got these little children now. And I don't know if I want to... They go to the Amazon um, because they hear that there might be other blue macaws in the Amazon and it's a very fun little cute story the songs are fantastic it's definitely more singing in this one than the previous ones so if you don't really like movies with songs then maybe you won't like it um, I really really enjoyed it what did I give it I gave it four stars and um, yeah I feel like well I actually gave Rio four stars as well but I liked this one better and um, this was my favorite of the two I mean like I said there's not much in between because I gave them both four stars but if you said to me which one did I prefer I actually did like this one better so if you like the first one I definitely recommend this one, it looks beautiful again, the scenery in these is fantastic and um, there's also this little frog in this one, yeah here's a little frog this little frog was so funny and awesome, there was definitely some great new characters and all the old characters returned, if you enjoy Rio, check out Rio too, if you haven't seen the Rio movies yet I definitely recommend them but I will be doing a review on this one soon um, next one I watched is another Studio Ghibli movie and it is Grave of the Fireflies um, I hear a lot of people talking about this movie and saying that it's very sad and uh, it's a hard movie to watch and I kind of went into it expecting it to be extremely sad of which it was, it is a sad depressing film I mean there's nothing happy about it at all it's set in Japan during World War 2 and it's basically about his two children who become uh, kind of become orphans in the war and have to survive and it's very, I, I hadn't give this movie a rating uh, and I don't know what to give it I... I don't know. I don't know what to say about this movie. Uh, when I wrote down it in my book afterwards, I always just write the rating straight away. And I was like, you know, I don't know what to give this movie. I don't know how I feel about this movie. It was a good movie. Um, it was a strong movie. It was a powerful movie. It was de it definitely was sad, but I didn't cry or anything watching it. I feel like, I don't know. I, but um, I, I get, you know, I don't know. I think you should watch it. It definitely is well if you enjoy it. It's a very different Studio Ghibli movie for sure. Um, I, but I felt like, it was very sad, I felt like I expected it to be a bit more, I don't know, it couldn't have been, the, the themes couldn't have been sadder, uh, the situations couldn't have been sadder, but I felt like I didn't, it didn't hit me as hard as I thought it was going to maybe is the thing, uh, that doesn't mean that it wasn't, I don't know, I don't know how to explain this movie, I mean, if you've heard of this movie, you've heard of this movie, it's a, it's a depressing film and it's about the war in Japan uh, and yeah, it's some stuff happens in that movie, I don't know what to give it though. So yeah, I'm sorry I'm a bit, I'm not sure, it's a difficult one to rate. Uh, next one I watched was Dream House with Daniel Craig and uh, Naomi Watts and Rachel West. Uh, this movie was interesting, I gave it three stars, it could have been better. Um, the ending, basically it's about, hmm, it's one of those play with your mind thriller type things. Um, this man moves into a house with his wife and two kids and things just aren't as they seem. There's kind of like a murderer type thing going on and... I don't know how to explain it about giving it away. If you enjoy twists and turns and thrillers, I think you should watch it. But it's definitely not one I'd watch again. Uh, it's nothing fantastic. But it's a three-star thriller that I enjoyed. I liked finding out some things. I was surprised at points, though. There was points I was like, oh, did not see that coming. Uh, but then once I'd figured out what was going on, it kind of trailed off a bit for me. Uh, but the beginning of the movie, I actually really enjoyed. The beginning of it actually felt almost a bit more like a horror. I was on the edge of my seat. Um, and I was really enjoying it, but I felt like at the end it kind of did trail off a little bit and I didn't enjoy it as much once I figured out what was going on. But I definitely still recommend it if you enjoy that type of movie. Next one I have is Little Mermaid 3, uh, the Little Mermaid Ariel's Beginning. This was very cute, I gave this three and a half stars. It is the third Little Mermaid movie, but it's the prequel. Uh, it was interesting to find out about Ariel's mum and Ariel as a kid. I wish she would have been littler, littler, she was very little in the beginning of the film. And then she got to be like older. I wish she would have been little for a bit longer, but... It also tells the story of how her and Flounder became friends and about how it's it's really good. I actually really liked this backstory. Um it's just a movie didn't I mean it's not gonna be as good as Little Mermaid, is it? So no, but I enjoyed it. It was a nice movie. I definitely recommend it. If you enjoy the Little Mermaid, you find out some fun stuff in this one. So I definitely would recommend that you check it out, but it's nothing uh too fantastic. But I actually preferred this one than the second one, I think. So yes. Okay, the next one, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze but I'm not sure, so we'll continue. But if I do sneeze, I apologise, hold on. Wait. Achoo! Ow, I knew so. Whoa, I nearly hit my head. Okay, Bad Neighbours. I gave this movie two and a half stars. 
I was expecting to really enjoy this movie because I'd heard a lot of good things about it. It's got some people in that I really enjoy and I just was excited for it and I was kind of disappointed. Um, movies like this I do usually enjoy them um, but this one just kind of fell flat for me really. It's about his family who have got a new baby and this like, uh, is it a frat house? Uh, you know, university people, they move next door and they're always having parties and they're trying to then like, war against each other and I don't know. I don't... Uh, it was okay but it wasn't great. I gave it two and a half stars. Let me know what you think about this because I was a bit disappointed. Okay, next I watched No Strings Attached. This is a rewatch. I love the movie Friends with Benefits. I've talked about it a lot. It's like a big guilty pleasure movie of mine that I love. Um, and I've seen, I saw this one before I watched Friends with Benefits. And um, they're very, very similar. They came out around the same time. This one came out first um, and I saw this one first. And I really enjoyed it when I saw it. But then I saw Friends with Benefits and liked that one better. Uh, so I decided to watch this one again, and you know what, it's so funny, it's got some funny jokes. I gave it four stars, I enjoy this. It's kind of a girls movie, um, and I'm sure you can gather what it's about, but it's, it's funny. I mean, we've got, um, what's her face, Natalie Portman and Ashton Kutcher. They're a great duo, there's some really funny moments. I mean, I enjoyed it, I had a good time. If you're having a girls night, this, and, well, I prefer Friends with Benefits, but this is still a good movie. If you've seen Friends with Benefits and enjoy it, I definitely do recommend checking this out, but you might be a little bit disappointed because it's not quite as funny or quite as good, but it's definitely still funny and I would recommend it. Finally, Midnight in Paris, of course. I watched this again. I feel like I've talked about this a lot um, when I got back from Paris because I had to see it again because I saw a lot of the places that were in this movie and actually it was really cool because we came across The Thinker, um, which is a scene in this movie where they discuss it and uh, we didn't even plan to we were just walking along in the museum the Rodin museum and there it was and we were like ah midnight in Paris it was so awesome and so much fun so I had to watch this again of course I give it four and a half stars it's a fantastic movie if you haven't seen this movie please watch it I've talked about it I've done a review on it I've talked about it in underrated movies I've talked about it in probably three other what I've watched videos I watched it on a Tuesday night movie night this movie talked about it 9900 times but you should watch it so yes, that was what I've watched video number... I don't know the number. Where can I pick all these up? No, I cannot. Ah, uh, That's not even all of them. But yay, that's my new What I've Watched video. Let me know down in the comments below if you have seen any of the movies and movies. If you want to see the rest of the What I've Watched video, definitely go ahead and look at my channel. The video should be up next. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. That didn't make sense. Thumbs up. Goodbye.